Good afternoon. Welcome to Steve's Kitchen. We are cooking today with a delicacy. It is called an abalone, also known as mother of pearl, or simply put, pearl of moon. These are the black lip. They are prolific uh, around our coast and uh, are terribly expensive in the restaurants. The green lip is more scarce and very hard to find and therefore are much more expensive than the black lip. However, getting down to brass tacks, sit this way. When you have your abalone, the most important thing to do is to clean the foot. This is the part that's attached to the rock. It's a, it almost, uh, scourer or a nail brush will, will do the job. So, just lightly run the water and scrape the black, you see, straight away. And, and the brown, just, just to get rid of that bit there, so the meat's nice and clean. And that's all we need to do. So we need to go overboard. This is, these are fresh, fresh, fresh. They're still alive, really. You couldn't get it any fresher than that. Uh, the boys and I went out to, uh, to Ento Black Beach this morning, a beautiful morning. And we were all in the rock pools and had a great time. Enjoyed ourselves, getting us at a lovely So, getting uh, down to our house. Now, we'll just move these out of the way, sure. These are not the ones. Now, Holding the abalone in the palm of your hand, slip the knife under the foot in this manner. See how it's attached to, to the shell? So the idea is to get, remove it from that shell. So all you do is you slip it into the back of the shell, holding it and ner gently nursing the knife right against the shell. All the way around. You'll see, ah, oh, there you go. Now you have the abalone. That's Come, it's come away from the shell, as you can see. These are the intestines. So, with one foul swoop, you could. Everything will come out all out. There you go. That shell will only cleaned, taken out of the shell. There is the name. Because of this mother of pearl inside, the abalone is called the pale moon. Okay, so put that to one side. Now, we need to remove this. This is not edible. This is the intestine. So gently just cut around the edge and remove that. Just like that. Once that's done, I'll just put that in there for now. Now, the abalone has a beak just here. You can see that. And that's the head and the beak. So you need to remove that. See? I don't know if you can see the beak there, but anyway. So we'll just cut behind the head. You can see this little sacky part. We'll just go behind that like that and cut that away. Hey, you don't want to be eating that. And that's the head and the beaks at the end of the end of that area over there. So we'll just look at this. Yeah, just use this paper. Just clean your weeds. You can get to everything, so it's nice and beautiful. All done. Don't need to go over late and get in between the joints. It's clear now. You don't want to waste any of this because it's really, really, really expensive. And it, you go through a lot of trouble to get it. Cleaning it up like that. Just And there you have it, a beautiful clean abalone. So the next step is to slice it up thinly. So for this, you need a sharp, sharp knife. You don't want to make any mistakes. Now most people would cut the black area off. I, I, I suggest you don't do that because that's the waste. That's all edible and once it's clean, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Just, uh, just clean my hands. Now for the lazy cook who is eating abalone all the time as ah. just slicing it like that and be fine. But if you really want to get a good result, you can start slicing it like this. Lay it flat on the board and running a knife 
parallel to the board. Excuse me, Dylan, uh, we do you quickly show you. Just uh, disturbed by my son. And just gently, nice, thinly sliced. You should be paper thin. It's better to cut the bottom section, running the knife along the bottom. You need a sharp knife to do this. See? I've lost, the, I've lost my touch. It's been years, years since I've lost on this short. Marvelous cut. Thank you. Oh, I'm a sort of a lazy kind of a chef. But you got the idea? That's the idea, really. Uh, you need to cut it all. A lot of um, effort um, when you're when you're cooking abalone. You have to have nerves of steel and a good eye, and of course a real sharp knife. So we'll just go through those like that. Notice that we have we haven't wasted anything. We haven't cut off any little bits and pieces around the edges. We've, we've saved everything. And also try to save your fingers when you're doing this. <laughs> you don't want to be eating amelone and fingers of Steve mixed in there. If you know what I mean. How are we getting down to it? Just why everything's good. Okay. I think we can get away with that one. That's good. And that's your prepared abalone. Um, most people would now put it aside on the bare board and use the mallet to bash it. And then dip it in the egg, the flour, and in a hot pot by the pan. And after that, it's all easy to eat. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes while we prepare this. And uh, we'll be back in Steve's kitchen.